Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 27th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes and a look at world weather. Starting out here, always the last 48 hours imagery of our sun. We took out that little calibration there, so we didn't have a big black flash in your eyes. But still, we did have a pretty bright flash from an M-class solar flare. Big blast, northwest region of our sun. Visible here, 304 angstroms. This is the last 48 hours incoming. And this is where we'll see this M-class solar flare. Luckily, it was not in an earth-facing direction. We dodged yet another bullet. Because this produced quite a coronal mass ejection. Having a look at outgoing for the past 48 hours. Bottom right hand side, can see a pretty fast forming a sunspot region, staying active and turning away. Looking at multi-spectrum here at the last 48 hours of events, notable big time there in the Northwest region with the M-class flare and as well as solar tornado in the Southern hemisphere. And of course, that massive earth facing coronal hole cooled region on the sun which does increase solar winds on our planet when it is an earth facing position and it is stretched from the north to the south having a look at 171 angstroms here you can really see the heliosphere of our sun changing dynamics right after that m class solar flare having a look 171 angstroms here able to see all of those loops of energy spiraling around the sunspot regions as there are four right now that we're looking at two of them turning in and two of them turning away but most notable all of this action coming in cresting towards an earth facing view having a look at the current space weather conditions right now we're under r1 um, radio blackouts and as well geomagnetic storm impacts expected here. 350 kil kilometers per second our solar winds are hitting us. Solar X-ray flux showing there the M-class solar flare. Minor at that, but it was a, it was a pretty long duration. Solar X-ray flux remains low and there's the geomagnetic activity from the past 48 hours. CME shooting off here in an outgoing direction and that was shown before this large one from the M-class solar flare. Big blast coming from our sun, dodging yet another bullet Earth from these large solar flare events, creating coronal mass ejections. Lots of energy associated with these events. Having a look at the aurora forecast for the next 48 hours, Northern Hemisphere expects some Northern lights yet again tonight across Canada, lower elevations down towards the border and having a look here at the southern hemisphere because it kind of shows where our magnetosphere is and where the pressure lies and our winds are at upper level winds another way to show our magnetosphere here is with the geospace magnetosphere movie showing our pressure from the magnetosphere on our planet and then we get the lasco too showing some amazing images wow of <laughs> that bright flash that was huge everybody I am truly grateful that was not in an earth-facing fashion because that was monstrous. Let's just back that up and look at this a couple more times. Holy moly. Yeah, that was an intense event. Amazing images here with Soho. Slow that down and look at it one more time. Amazing stuff. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to hit that like button. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we're up over 300 earthquakes according to USGS right now. And that is definitely up from yesterday and the day prior. Looking at this Bolton map right now, most notable here, 4.2 off the coast of Italy, the Tyrrhenian Sea, pretty deep though. Activity still ringing through Afghanistan and up into the Indian plate with northern China. 4.8 earthquake here, Prince Edward Island region, south of Africa, 
5.8 there. Bellany Islands, 5.6 there. Fiji region, Loyalty Islands, and as well, Timor Less there. Most recent earthquake, 4.4. But no large earthquakes, still only reporting the 5.9 from yesterday. But this is where all the new activity is. Hawaii, Pahala, Hawaii, reporting a 3.7, and as well, multiple earthquakes across the island. Looking across the U.S., most notable there, the geysers. But, I mean, that's a pretty regular area to see the minor earthquakes. The USGS reporting right now 305 earthquakes in the map area. And having a zoom in here at Hawaii, and you can see that there are 41 earthquakes across the big island of Hawaii. But about 30 of them seem to be running southeast off of the summit caldera of the Kilauea volcano. So heads up yet again, the Kilauea volcano, as it's seen some intense pressure the last few weeks, had a small eruption and then cooled again. And it's probably going to do that yet again in this next little bit. So heads up and stay tuned for the daily updates. Having a look across the U.S. right now, California State, a lot of minor earthquakes surrounding the basin as well some notable earthquakes up into the pacific northwest here at mount st helens and as well lasan and rainier notable volcanoes they're not active or erupting but notable up into the pacific northwest carrying on here with earthquakes minor activities still there caribbean plate South American plate. We did have the 5.4 here in Velenor, Chile. And that was reported after last night's update. Quick look here. Antarctic plate there. A little trifecta effect with those earthquakes. And now a glance at the last seven days for shakers across the world. Take a quick moment at to thank everybody for watching and as well all of the love and support that you've given towards myself, the videos and the channel. I see all your comments and I'm trying to respond to them all, but I thank you so much for your encouragement and your inspiration. You guys are the best community on YouTube and I love you all. That's the last seven days for Shakers across the world. Stay aware and prepared and be ready in your earthquake prone zones. Now let's get to the SO2 forecast brought to you by Windy.com, showing a pretty sizable eruption coming off of Kamchatka right now. It could be multiple volcanoes and as well SO2 puffing out of Kilauea, Hawaiian Islands there. But all of that SO2 is going to get wrapped up in the North Atlantic towards Alaska and then sweep eastward and into North America. Big low pressure system there in the long range is going to help funnel that over towards the east. Also got quite a bit of SO2 coming out of China. Quick glance here overlooking the rest of the world. Australia, the mighty Aoba volcano. Look at all of that SO2 coming out of there. Notable all of the SO2 coming out of uh, northern Australia. Could be a very hot and tender and dangerous forest fire season down under. So heads up. All of my Australian viewers, thank you so much for watching. And stay safe out there and down there. Overlooking Africa. You can see the near Miragongo. Near Miragira volcanoes spewing quite a bit of SO2 Central Africa. Now let's get to weather here across North America. And most of the Northern Hemisphere. Interesting low moving in here for the United States. High pressure ridge, cold one. It's going to bring some extreme weather towards the Gulf states. But eventually the cool down will be coming and as well the snow will be falling. Watching in the long range, these systems are going to be the big players this week. Even touching the Atlantic provinces and Newfoundland. And then long-range forecast heading into BC. Pretty strong low-pressure system there. Having a look here at the snow forecast for the next 10 days. Snowfall totals up in the top left-hand corner. Looks like Newfoundland's going to get about 30 centimeters. Parts of Greenland 
are going to get about 360 centimeters, 480 in some regions, with that intense blizzard that will be wrapping around the south coast of Greenland. And as well, looking at Sweden, Norway here, upwards of 70 centimeters of snow. Across BC and Alberta, a dusting. Nothing major coming just yet, except for the shorelines, Hudson's Bay, and as well, Colorado. That's right, Colorado seeing upwards of 26 centimeters of snow in this long-range forecast. Now let's get to Europe and Africa as we do have an intense weather forecast here for you guys. Low pressure system after low pressure system and they're gaining strength. Tight isobars mean some very strong winds. It is your very windy season, but you're going to be getting a ton of moisture with all of this. So heads up, stay aware, prepared Europe as you've got some big systems coming your way. Overlooking the rest of the world, no major typhoons or cyclones developing in this long range forecast. Except for the cyclone that's heading towards New Zealand. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. Staying aware and prepared on our planet Earth. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.